Hello everyone, today we're looking at five key issues in my comic collection and these are no frill issues which means they are not signed or they're new, not new stands on most part or most of them are not variants but there might be a few that pop up. So let's have a look at number five. This is going from cheapest to most expensive. So number five is Wild Dog. I don't know if anybody knows this series. You might know him from, he was in the Arrow universe, which was on the CW TV series, which I, I gave up watching towards the end. But this is um, from 1987. It was a four issue mini series. And I picked this up when it, when it came out. I had all four, all four issues. And this is, say, Wild Dog's first appearance. And um, it goes for bugger all now. So it probably goes for, you pro pro you'll probably pick this up for a couple of pound. So CGC wise, um, I doubt there's very many of these about. So, so this is number five. Number four, we have Captain America, number 332. And this is the issue where Captain America gives up being Captain America. And he gets handed over to someone else. And this was out in 1987. And at the moment, um, prices are down on this. But you can pick one up in a CGC for $169, which is about £133 from I'm in the UK. And a raw copy is about $18, which is about £14 in the UK. And uh, this lost uh, sort of popularity after the um, Falcon Winter Soldier TV series. So, yeah, this is... Um, I picked this one up off the when it first came out as well in 1987. I was buying a lot of comics then. So... Right, number three is a bit of a bump up, and this is a bit more of a key issue. I'm hiding the label there because I've labelled it on the back. This is Thundercats number one from 1985, and I didn't pick this up when it first came out. I got it, I got it in the early 90s, but this was um, quite hard to get in the in the UK. I don't know if there was many about really. I, I think I must have got one from uh, one of the early comic shops that started over here. So. Yeah, this is number one. I've got about two or three of these. And this went up in uh, really popularity a few years ago when there was rumours of a film and then it come crashing down this comic. So, but I, this is one of the comic I'll always keep because I'm a big Thundercats fan and I'm I'm going to try and complete the run of this series. I also buy the, the British series as well, which I, which I liked. And... Uh, so this, uh, so it's 1985. If you to get in a CGC, it's $673, which is £528. And then a raw, it's about $139, which is £109. And I, I think I picked mine up for about £80, I think, 80 to £100, a few issues I've got. But I've had one issue. I'll say for years, which is probably a bit of a mess now. I'm not sure if it's this one. But yeah, one comic I will never get rid of because I really like Thundercats. I'm a, I'm a Thundercats toy collector. So there we go. And then number two, we have Uncanny X-Men 133. And this is a bit of a, more of a bump up because uh, everyone loves X-Men and the Wolverine. Well, the older series anyway and um let's look at my notes here so this is issue 133 and it was out in 1980 and um it's the first wolverine solo cover and it's the um it's the first confirmed uh storyline with wolverine's healing factor before it was just hinted but uh, this issue it confirms it so amazing artwork this is probably the best um, era of X-Men with um, Chris Claremont writing and John Byrne artwork so doesn't get much better than this this one's sort of um, plateaued at the moment it's on a um, 
it's not really gone up or down so it's 793 dollars for a cgc 9.8 622 pound and it's a raw it's about 198 dollars which is 156 pounds so good issue to have um if you're an x-man fan looks really uh, well presented the fir the front cover so it would look nice on the wall if it is in a if it's in case so if you're an x-man fan definitely worth picking up and then number one out of these top five i bought this when it first came out it is new mutants 87 which came out in 1990 and you probably know it's the first appearance of cable and this comic in the 90s was was massive it's probably as uh, popular as deadpool and actually probably more popular at one point because i remember uh in the 90s late 90s that a lot, a lot of people hated deadpool and um i had the whole run of deadpool and i sold it off in the early 2000s but this is a cable issue so so no, uh, number 87 1990 this has gone down a bit at the moment but still it's um still going for quite a bit it's a thousand dollars apparently in the cgc 9.8 which is 784 pound and a raw copy i saw for 298 dollars which is 239 pound i couldn't believe anyone would pay that for the cable because um I think after his appearance in Deadpool, I think he's a bit of a, a bit of a duff character now. So I don't know why anybody would sort of pay that money, but this is a number one on my list. And <clears throat> I would say, um, as a collector, buy what you love and try not to in, buy for investing at the moment because it seems to be a bit of a, a weird market. I just buy comics now, which I know I'm going to keep and not get rid of. Um, I've got a few investment comics, but um, yeah, I'll probably keep this one. This is going to be a keeper. I would say my my personal favourite out of all these five is Thundercats number one. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Which five do you have or are you plan to buy? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.